And here's Brian Gray up on stage with me. Woo. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so, uh, so why 47? Um, I went to college at Pomona College. And Woo, a, <laughs> a while back, long time ago, a math professor wrote a tongue-in-cheek paper about the number 47 and how it comes up more often than it should by random chance. It was, it was a joke paper, but it became a meme around campus that's lasted decades. Uh, some people graduated from Pomona College and went on to be writers for Star Trek Next Generation and made the number 47 appear more often than it would appear by random chance. And so uh, that became a meme in our lives as well. I kind of I brought it to the family. And around the family, we talk about number 47. We notice it. And I noticed when I hit 47, uh, I had written 46 original songs. Uh, and I was going to be writing my 47th at 47. Um, Zoe had a show coming up, wanted me to write a song for it, so I wrote this song, uh, which is about you know basically what was going on in my life when I was 47, not least of which was uh, I can't do my own shows anymore. Uh, I can do two and a half songs uh, in one of Zoe's shows if, uh, if it's not too high, if I haven't done karaoke previously that week. <laughs> um, so it's, uh, it's just a, a slice of time here. of anything you think would probably be enough to treat the going to a reckoning when the going thinks it's so damn tough it's tears, it's tears, it's songs cope with laying down the Mozart when your vocal cords refuse to and compose art pitched lower than you used to. And it's hardly at this point of surprise with all that time to kill on the routine compromise that gets you by until you learn to focus the highs No underneath is still a blur unsure after 47 Years ago, I tossed my hat into the fray. Okay, that didn't pan out, and I so wouldn't have it any other way. Somewhere in this story, as I pursue the phrase and bring some random ass butterfly, decides to flap its wings, and I turn into this guy. Every time he sings, it's from some. Forty-seven. With any luck, I'm right about halfway through. Without a bend, not a thing I look forward to is being proud, leaving it up to you to do. Them's the brakes here. Except you recognize these melodies like that one you wrote for Shakespeare. So close your eyes and take in the sound. Honest brain still says when well, life's got you down. And everything's uphill, you know, next time you're in town, you come hit me up and we'll pursue. Seven.